my brothers and sisters. There were nine of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like I'm number two. Yeah, because everyone knows everyone from the estate, right? Well, like that's the way it's always been, yeah. Even back in the day. <laughs> yeah, we all got on. Everyone did. All colours as well. Yeah, yeah. There was no issues. Nothing like that. Nothing like that, yeah. Yeah, no. And it was just like you knew everybody, all the people on this side. Mm -hmm. So you knew people on Kambala, you knew people on Win Stanley, you knew people on Badrick, you knew yeah. people on Surrey Lane, you knew people going up to Clapham Junction, yeah. even going up to Southside. Okay, you didn't know that many yeah, people. Yeah, you did. No, you you man, it's true. This oh. is like seven years, eight years. Yeah. You don't know. Mm. Like all the parents knew each other, yeah. That's true. Black, white, Asian, whatever, mm -hmm. they knew each other. So it was like, if you thought you was out on your own, yeah, there would always be like, hello, your mum's just been. Her mum's the worst. That's what it was like, it's true. People looked out for each other and it was safe. But yeah, like that time you got lost. Yeah, 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 because one day, yeah, I got lost. She loves to tell the story. So let me tell you what happened there. So basically, right, my mum said, yeah, my mum said to me, shut up, to go and buy like some eggs or whatever. And Carly thought her mum meant going down the junction to buy yeah. those eggs. But her mum really meant go down the square. Right, 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 right. So now I was used to like going up to Clapham Junction like all my life, yeah, every day. So like I walked all the way to Clapham Junction, all the way to Arding and Hobbs, thinking that my big sister went to Clapham Junction to buy six eggs. <laughs> and like I was only five years old, yeah. So like I got to um got to the junction to cross over to the crossing, yeah. And like, I was only little, so I had to ask somebody to cross me across the road. <laughs> and that's when someone realised, who are you with then? Yeah? And then they like, they walked me up to um, Lavender Hill, yeah, to the police station. <laughs> but that is how safe it was in them yeah, days, yeah? You could walk the streets, no one's going to say, oh, you aren't with your mum. Mm. It was sort of okay. How old was you again? Yeah, like, I was five. About five years old, yeah, I think about five. <laughs> anyway, um, but like, yeah. My dad had to come and get me, yeah, because like, obviously he had to come and get me. And um, I was so excited to see him because they gave me a Kit Kat and a can of Coke. Shut up! A Kit Kat and a can of Coke. And I was so happy because I wasn't allowed a can of Coke at home. So I had a whole can of Coke to myself. And I was like, Dad, look what they got me! A Kit Kat and a can of Coke. Well, I think he just like rolled his eyes and said thanks to the officers. And then he put me on his shoulders. And I think that was a whole delight to say like I was safe but I wasn't killed or harmed or nothing like that. But the whole way home, yeah, he pinched me. Good. All the way home. <laughs> so I won't forget it, yeah. I will not forget it. But that is how safe it was in them days. People looked out for each other and it was like, it was all one community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, unlike today's days, day, mm -hmm. like, I think, like, there's a bit of a stereotypical view of the area. Like, people think it's a bad place because some bad stuff happens, like the riots, yeah? But bad stuff's always happening everywhere. But that's what I say, because I'm like, was you at the riots, though? Because, like, I was there, yeah, and I saw, like, everything that happened. So I can tell you what happened. So basically, this is what happened, yeah? I got home, and me, my dad, my brothers, and my little sister, we went to the junction, yeah? And we saw everything that happened, like... We saw horses and everything. No. Really? Police horses and everything. We even saw people we knew, yeah. And then, no. like, some guy gave me some shoelaces, yeah. What? You took them? Uh, no. My dad started cussing, yeah, because like, <laughs> obviously they were stolen. Yeah. And do you know what them people done? <laughs> do you know what them people done? They went into KFC, yeah, and they made chicken and they ate it. <laughs> And they went to McDonald's too. I mean, ridiculous. Nice, but nice, but like, like I say, like bad stuff happens everywhere, yeah. And like, I would just say, if people have got any tensions with each other, just like break it. Exactly. Because like, we're all one community. Exactly. I mean, there's one thing I proper love about Battersea, and that's the people. Like, if someone told me I had to leave, oh, you would not leave. Come on, girl. You know which way your heart lies. I know, but I would love a big house, you know, with a nice drive and a room I don't have to share, where everyone has their own room, you know, own space, enough money just to live. But she's right. I wouldn't want to leave Battersea, though. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, I wouldn't want to go away. Like, I'd be upset. Like. I'd be dead, yeah, because I'm not leaving, innit? Because like, I'm in the hood for the rest of my life, yeah. Because, yeah. like, you know when you're from an area, yeah, you just know the streets, and, like, when I'm in my house, I can tell what bus is going by by the sound of the bus. What? Like, I can tell what bus that is, yeah, because I've lived here for 20 years. Right. right. So I know what bus is going past. So, like, I'd be in the bath, yeah, and I think to myself, that's my bus. I'm good now. I can tell from the sound of the engine. Look. I'm telling you, this is why I couldn't leave Battersea. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, I'm being serious. That's <laughs> true. But, like, it is like we're all one community, yeah? So it's like, you've got the Muslim family.
family, you've got the white family, the blacks, yeah. the Asians, yeah. you yeah. see, whatever. And it's like people will make other people know each other. So like making my parents, or Tia's parents, will make Tia know people, yeah? So like you could be like your mum's friend's child or whatever, and then someone's going to be like, oh, that's someone's nephew, I basically just found out, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like I'll have children, yeah? yeah, yeah. And then you'll have children, and then right. they'll have children, and then someone will be like, oh my god, that's my grandson, like, yeah. Well, I shut up. I just think like it's my home, it's my place. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, I've got a shut up shop now, lads. Oh, yeah, but wait, are you going to make us some hot chocolates? Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? Look, if we come in tomorrow. It. Okay. Well, why don't you guys follow me down Lavender Hill, yeah? I've got to go to the dry cleaners to pick up a jacket for this event I'm working at tonight. You see, I'm freelancing and I need a bit of work, so this could potentially get me some more work, yeah? And I do need the money, so. Right. Yeah, wish me luck. Why don't you guys just come with me? Thank you so much, Kylie, for like, talking to the guys and stuff. It's a bit noisy. All right, then, cool. Sorry. So why don't you guys follow me this way, yeah? We're going to head through this way.